Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle but I mostly talk about business and investments. Specifically, I do cover a lot about the Airbnb business on this channel. And to add to my previous videos, I have already shared with you the top condominium developers who allow and disallow Airbnb and also a few weeks ago, I shared with you the top criteria that you can look at when you are selecting a property and more specifically for a condominium so that you are able to buy a condo that has a high demand for Airbnb so that you can charge a high rate and get a faster return of investment or ROI. At the end of that previous video, I posted with you the question, should you actually buy a property for the purpose of Airbnb? That's what we'll look to cover in this video. So stick around and let's find out. So if you've been watching my videos, maybe you've been talking to some friends, maybe you know some people who are doing it, it's occurred to you that you can invest in a property for the sole purpose of running it as an Airbnb. When you turn your property into an Airbnb, whatever you're earning might be something that's helping you with your monthly amortization. At the very least, it will help you cut down with those expenses. And for some, it's even helping them cover their entire monthly amortization. And for a best case scenario, they're not just covering their entire monthly amortization, but they're actually making some money after all expenses considered. With that in mind, doesn't it seem like a no-brainer for you to invest in a property for the sole purpose of doing an Airbnb? Well, for me personally, it's not as easy as that. Even though I am an advocate of Airbnb, I would proceed with a lot of caution when trying to invest in a property for the sole purpose of running it as an Airbnb. So the Airbnb business really just exploded in the last few years. I think in the country, it's been around 10 years at the most. Not just Airbnb, but the concept of short-term guests. So this is really quite a new trend. Airbnb and short-term guest stays has also faced a lot of challenges. If you watch my previous videos, you know that when the pandemic hit, it practically wiped out all the Airbnbs that I was running in 2020. So it's really just now that I'm starting to put uh, my Airbnbs back together. And so far, I've only really invested in that one property. Uh, all the other properties that I'm managing are actually friends. And some of you viewers now are my Airbnb partners. But I guess I am telling you to proceed with some caution when investing in a property because investing in a property is really a long-term commitment. If you're like me and you don't have the cash that's just lying around, you actually have to go through the application process of getting a loan, getting approved. Most housing loans would be around 10 to 15 years, even 20 years. Um, congratulations if you can do it in five years. My loan is a 15-year loan. I am just on year nine, so a little bit over a third to go. But pretty much what I'm saying here is that Airbnb is still quite a new concept. There are things that come up along the way, maybe not as dramatic as a pandemic wiping out your income. But as shared previously in a recent video, one of the condominium developers that I thought were outright very open to running their place as an Airbnb, Mega World, especially in the BGC area, is no longer allowing Airbnb. Of course, these are all from the grapevine. I guess that's the thing with Airbnb and I've always thought that to myself. You running your place as an Airbnb could change in an instant, just like that. Sometimes it's just a matter of the admin changing their minds. Perhaps the company takes on a new direction, a different branding, so they might want to be more exclusive, as mentioned to you, so Ayala practically does not allow it. Another property developer who was allowing it before also is not allowing it anymore would be Federal Land. So this informal hotel business really has some unforeseen challenges along the way. Uh, like in the US and other countries, there are regulatory concerns uh, which outright disallows use of Airbnb, such as uh, New York and San Francisco. It was widespread. Many people were making money off of it, but the city decided that it wasn't good for the overall community, resulting into artificial escalation of rent. It might be a surprise that it comes from me, but to answer the question, should you invest in a condo for the sole purpose of running it as an Airbnb? I would say no. For me, I guess the mindset that I want you to take on would be 
yes, you might be able to run your place as an Airbnb and definitely have that as one of your options. But don't have it as your only option. Don't have that as your only motivation, your only purpose for buying into a property. Because again, things may change very easily. Your 15-year mortgage may only encounter three years of Airbnb income. I would want you to buy a property because you actually like the property and that there is potential for long-term renters because it's in a good area. As for the strategy to invest in a property simply for Airbnb, I would unfortunately vote against it. I would not recommend it. Again, if you're like many of us, you will be signing up for that property for a long-term commitment. 10, 15, 20 years of your life. So don't invest simply for the purpose of Airbnb. Invest because you think that there's potential that you may sell the place at a higher rate in the future. Especially now when there are so many condominiums coming up, you know, it's always about supply and demand. And more than just living in the property, you see yourself being able to sell that property at an escalated price in the future. Because ultimately, that should be what guides you in the decision-making process of buying into a property. So what do you think? Do you agree with me that investing in a property for the sole purpose of Airbnb being that place is not the wisest decision? Or do you think it's harmless? Do you think you have to strike while the iron is hot, while Airbnb is hot, and just cross the bridge when you get there? Perhaps if Airbnb gets this allowed or highly regulated, then that's something you'll deal with later on. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy Airbnb hosting and happy investing.